Yo, what up, my Shadow Army? So, Design Shadow Critic is back again with another anime review video. So, yes, today I finally got the chance to watch this anime called, well, Death Note. I'm not going to get into spoilers or anything like that. I know some people are starting watching it right now. So, I just got I just got started like yesterday, then I just finished today. And, holy shit. Yo. Okay, I just want to close that away. This was highly recommended like year, years ago, but I never got around to it. I don't know why, but I finally got the chance because, well, my second brother, when I chat with him on Instagram, he he started got into anime back in like three or four months ago, and he says that his favorite anime is Death Note, and he said it's really damn good. And I heard a lot of people say it's really damn good since my little brother asked me to watch it. I said, you know what, fuck it, I might as well just watch it just for the hell of it. And after watching this show, holy shit, I was not expecting none of this because this, if you guys are a fan of Mystery Solver, Solver or something like that, this actually is perfect for you. If you guys are into mystery and um, anime, this will be perfect for you. It's just, holy hell. It's just insane. And the, the battle of mining, the battle of mines, ma battle of master plan, battle of mystery or something like that, it's just insane. Like, when you watch the show, they had these, like, how to use Death Note of the entire, uh, 37 episodes. And, of course, there's two, um, that's two, uh, three type of movie, I guess, but I didn't watch them because I didn't feel like I didn't want to watch them because it's just, I just don't see the point of it that she made those three in the first place because I think the, the last three were perfect the last episode of the show was completely perfect and it's just insane the main character named Light Yagami and you actually will find out what happened to him in the ending his motivation that he's just a normal kid and he says this place is just getting boring and boring until he found a death note that after he discovered the death note what, it, what it's capable of he wants to become a, a new god, and he wants to start a new world without any violence or or criminals around the world. That's pretty much the plot of the story about this character, what he's planning to, and is whatever whoever inherited to the death know they actually would see a uh, uh, Shinigami known as the god of death. So, and um, it's just insane. And on that. They actually could help you. The, the Shinigami will actually give you a power of the Shinigami by giving you the eye of the Shinigami. But it costs a great price that you had to split a half of the year lifespan. So, yeah, to be honest, if the actual actual notebook of Death Note actually is real in reality, I would have done the same damn thing for Light, actually. By erase or killing the entire criminals who don't deserve to live in general. And also the people that I actually hate in this damn world, honestly. And there's some people I just don't give a shit about, honestly. But, man, it's just, like, insane. Like, holy shit, man. But, but that does cause the risk of my own life, because... If I stop using it for the past 13 days, I might actually die. So pretty much, if people don't use the death note for the past for the past 13 days, that means you might be dead or you might be alive. But if you decided, there's also a, also agreement. Like if you decided to stand down as a user of the death note, your memory of seeing the Shinigami. And also remember the Death Note will be erased instantly. The only thing will not be erased is 
the people that you know, the people that you communicate with, the people that you have bond with. So that means you will just lose a memory that you came across the Death Note and me and the Shinigami and also the people that you just killed. That's it. And I would have, I'll be okay with that, honestly. And um, what? And also, little spoiler, if any of the original person who actually got their hands on the Death Note, they, not only they lost their memories, but if that person actually found the Death Note, whenever you touch the Death Note, you actually will gain all the memories that were erased by the day you found the Death Note, the, the day that you met the Shinigami. And also all the killing that you just committed. So, yeah. That's pretty much how it works. And it's just... It's just insane. I just loved it. That is, it's just insane. It's pretty damn good. Now, if I had to put this on the higher rank of my top favorite anime... Um... I had to put it top 5, I guess? Hold on. I think I said I might put him in top. I don't know which one is my top five. I honestly forgot. So I might have to put it in top five or top four favorite anime. No, I might have to put a top five because I don't want to go a little bit higher than that. I think it will be going in the top five because I think uh, Death Note will be perfect for him to be in my top five favorite anime, honestly. And it's just holy shit. It's just. The story is insane. Like, I'm just gonna say this. Both L and Light Yagami are the most very fucking intelligent and smart son of a bitch. They come up with a plan right out the bat that you do not see it coming. Like, holy shit. <laughs> like, damn, man. Like, my favorite character is definitely Light. No questions asked. Like, this motherfucker. <laughs> Holy shit. He comes up with these damn plans. And then he revealed his plan when we, the audience, do not know what his plan was. Until he actually tells us. On, when we watch the show. Like, damn, this guy is fucking. Holy shit. I like that. He has to come with a plan. And he does have a plan. He just doesn't reveal it until... Until the part of his plan about to be almost complete. It's just like, holy fuck. And the one that doesn't, and also the government also kind of pissed off about, oh, one guy is killing these people with a heart attack multiple in one day. And they think, oh, it's still murder if you still consider people, give people a heart attack. How is that considered a murder if someone gets a heart attack? That's fucking bullshit. And it's just stupid. Like, how is that a convicted murder if you're causing people to give them a heart attack by writing people's name on a freaking debt on an actual notebook? And it's just... What the fuck? And I just don't understand these government... There's one thing I don't understand about the government. It says people think, oh, killing a random criminal is still a, still a criminal or still a murderer. No, killing criminals is the right damn thing. There's some people out there think the criminals don't deserve to live. They deserve to die. Because what's the point keeping them alive if they're just going to get out of the jail, get out of the prison, they're just going to go back their old way and start doing the same thing over and over, like repeating the same thing. It's like a cycle. Like, you know, the person start doing something, like killing or raping, they get locked away in jail or prison. Few years, they get out and they repeat the same thing, same repeat, nonstop. They're not gonna change. They're never gonna learn. So the only way to stop it, it to end the cycle, is killing the people. They're killing the people who cause the crimes. If they're not planning to, you know, you know, learn what they have done or redeem what that they, they committed. So what's the point? So lie young to me did nothing wrong he's doing what the others wouldn't to kill all the criminals who don't deserve to fucking live but these people just don't fucking see that they don't think straight they don't understand like what's the point of it they're just gonna come out 
and go back where they usually do. They're not going to fucking learn. Yeah, there's some people out there who have learned and not do it again. But what can you say, but how can you believe that? What if they actually are planning to go back they are right now and we just, just let it happen and we didn't know until we hear the fucking news that that person said, oh, I'm not planning to do this anymore. I learned my lesson. I'm going to redeem myself. But then that gets backstabbed. But they just backstab you and they said in the news that, yeah, he's going to prison for life for this and that. Like, see, they, they just played it. They, they just played you as a fucking fiddle to make you to believe that for the redeem, which they're fucking lying. So, yeah, they haven't fucking learned. So what's the fucking point? That's one thing I just don't understand. These governments, politics, and the police force don't see that. Like, what's the point keeping them alive? They don't deserve to live. They don't deserve a second chance. They don't deserve a redemption for the crimes that they committed. They deserve to die than just be rot in jail or rot in prison. That's one thing I just don't understand in reality itself. I know I should not be taking this too seriously. It's just a fictional fictional show in general. But at the same time, it felt like just actual reality in what is happening right now in the world. Like, yeah, there's some people out there killing and raping. But at the same time, like, what's the point of keeping them alive? They don't deserve to live. It, it's just me in general. But I, I should not be taking this realistic. But I... It's pretty much how I am when it comes to this, like, oh, a character is killing these criminals for a good reason, because if you want to bring peace to the world, you have to eliminate who who is trying to disturb and starting causing chaos and destruction and killing and raping innocent people, men, women, and children alike. So how in the hell are we going to have a peace without violence? Literally. I just don't understand that. But these them governments, the president, the military, the cops, the FBI agents or whatever, they don't fucking see that. They're just too blind of the old ways of justice. They, oh, they need to be locked away for good. No. They need to be fucking executed. Because how can we live our life if these more of these kinds of criminals... Or just going to keep repeating the same thing of the person who started it. So, what's the point of it? What's the point of keeping them alive? We have to kill them. One way or the other is the only way to bring peace and justice. People say, no, that's still murder if you kill the person who caused this incident. No, it's doing something right. We're doing what we should have done years ago. Instead of just, just put them rotten in jail... For, for the rest of their damn life. So, yeah. But honestly, I have nothing else to say to this point. This is supposed to be like a review about the show in general. But I'll just get my honest thoughts about, you know, what Light Yagami is trying to do to build a new world. So, yeah. It's, again, this show is my, my, ugh, the, the, the battle mind. Like, you... It's hard to put everything together. Like, okay, who's doing this? Who's doing that? Because we know, we know the main character is the villain. He's the one who started it. He's pulled the string. We all know that. But there's more people out there who has the death note, or some people got their hands on one of the two death notes. And it's just holy shit. And it's just insane. It's just crazy, honestly. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Links to my social media, my Discord server, my GoFundMe page will all be down below. Good job, you guys know drip and all that shenanigans. And again, like them, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Neil before Shadow Critias, I'll see you guys later.